This video is brought to you by Raffle Press. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create a photo contest in WordPress. Doing a photo contest is a great way to increase your traffic on your website, grow your email list. It's also a great way to grow your social media following by just doing one contest. To get this contest going, we're going to install a plugin called Raffle Press. Raffle Press is a great plugin to run a giveaway or a contest on your website without having to do any external services. So if you're ready, let's dive in. And while there is a light version to do giveaways in order to do the photo contest and the image upload, you'll want to do the pro or higher. You can just head over to rafflepress.com. And for this video, make sure you use promo code WPBVIP to get the best discount on Raffle Press. Once you download the plugin from Raffle Press, make sure you head over to your WordPress dashboard and we're going to go to plugins, add new. And instead of searching for a plugin, now we're going to upload it since we downloaded it from Raffle Press. You can either choose file or you can also left click and drag it up here and you'll see it's there. Or simply choose file, find where you just downloaded it and we can install it. Once you install it, you'll also want to make sure that you stick around to activate the plugin as well. Great. Once it's activated, we'll come to this screen and we just want to make sure we enter our license key. You can find your license key in your account area where you can just copy the license key. Come back to WordPress dashboard. We'll right click and paste that in there. Once you verify it, then everything will be good to go. And the cool thing about Raffle Press is it comes with integrations with many social media profiles as well as email marketing platforms. So under Raffle Press, we want to do add new for a giveaway and we can name it. So the concept of this is say we're starting a podcast and we want to do a giveaway, I'm going to give away this microphone. Most people ask what microphone we're using. So we're going to do a giveaway on that. So you can name it whatever you want. And we just want people to upload a contest of them listening to the podcast. So there are several templates that you can choose from automatically. And this is depending on what your business goal is. If you're wanting to grow your Instagram or your Facebook or your email list, or you can also just choose a classic giveaway. This will give all of the basics and then you can grow up the giveaway from there. So we're going to use that template for this. And you see out of the box, we already have all these items here that we can do. So we're going to do an awesome prize. I'm going to do be sure SM seven B microphone. You can add whatever description you want. We want to give it an image so people know what they are winning. I think I have that here. Great. And then they should know what they're done winning there. Over on the left, you also want to make sure you do a start and end date. So we're going to have this start. I'm going to do today so you'll see it, but you can choose whenever and make sure you select a time as well. And I might adjust this so you can see it in action. And you'll also want to give an end date. Typically seven days is a really good time frame to do a giveaway that gives people enough time to enter, but it's not too long that people will forget. So do something accordingly and also select a time. You can choose whatever time you want and then choose the time zone that this will turn on and off in. I'm in the Eastern time zone. So I'll go ahead and put that here. And you know what? I'm going to change this. They know that that's what they're getting, but we're going to say photo contest for 2020. Great. Now that we've got this going, I'm just going to save just because I like to save things. And then we can go to actions. These are the things that we want people to do to enter into this contest. And so this is where this will be important to choose. If you'll scroll down, you have all of these items that you can do and you can stack all of these. If you want people to visit you on your Facebook page, if you want them to visit your YouTube channel, you can do that. Or if you just want them to do one thing and that being the photo contest, scroll all the way down and we've got submit an image. And since submitting an image is super important, you want to choose a value. The value is basically the number of entries that they'll get for submitting a photo. Because this is a photo contest, we want to make this mandatory. And we also want to allow daily entries. And if you hover over any of these 
question marks, it'll tell you the daily entries option. It just allows users to come back every day and submit more so they could ultimately submit as many as how long it's open for. And I think we're open for seven days so they could submit seven times. We'll give it a title. And on the right, when I scroll down, you see that there's that way to enter. So we're happy with that. So now I'm going to go back over to actions and then we can choose a couple of other ways that we want them to enter, say visit on the Facebook. That'll be a value of one. It doesn't have to be mandatory. We can also still allow daily for the Facebook page URL. You just want to grab the URL for the page that you want them to visit. I'm going to do WP beginners URL for that. And then you can choose however many others you want, how many other actions you want them to take. And that just depends on, are you trying to grow your newsletter? Are you trying to grow your social following? Are you just trying to get user engagement on this photo contest? All right, now that we've done the actions that we want people to take, now we can go back and do a little bit more designing on this page. So let's go ahead and click design. And here's the cool thing about it is we can either set this up as a standalone page. So you send people to this page itself. You can also embed it on a page you already have on your website. So you can go through and change all of this information. So I scroll up here. I'm going to show you what it does when I select these different things. So for instance, that would be the photo on the top and the text on the bottom. That would be that layout. You can choose from these fonts as well to pick the one that works best for your website. I actually kind of like the Helvetica better. You can change the button color. So if you have a button, you can change it here. You see the use your email just changed to that. You'll want to make sure that the button colors complement your website colors, but they don't blend in too much so that people can still see that and it really still strikes their their view down here if we're doing a standalone page you can change the page color layout here so we can make that stand out a little bit more you see how you can change those colors as well to really truly really make it look good so I'm having a hard time picking one because they all look really good. So I'm not really sure which one I want. Let's go with the lighter gray. You could even add a background image if you wanted to. All right, now that we're finished with the design of it, let's go down to settings so we can finish up and configure the settings for it. So we'll just go down the list. So under general, this is what we're naming it all. You could say microphone giveaway. Let's do photo contest. 2020. You can add the permalink and we're going to do this so it can be its standalone page. So let's do photo contest. It's short and sweet. And then you can display the options if you want to hide the total number of entries. Showing number of entries just shows social proof so other people see how many people are signed up for it. You can also show winners or not. And then you can choose to limit per IP and that just helps prevent fraud. And then if you want to show the raffle press link at the bottom, you can do that. Also, don't forget if you want to, you can become a raffle press affiliate. So you could join the affiliate program, show that. And if someone buys through your link, then you'll get a commission under the rules. So you'll want to make sure that you have rules and they even have a generate rules thing where if you go in and you give the sponsor name, if you're the one that's sponsoring it, then just name your name, put your information down here, put your email address, anything else that might be pertinent to this. And then you can click generate rules. And what it'll do is go through and do some typical legal jargon for you to use. And it filled in the information of your sponsor, your email and all that. So that's really cool. And then under email verification, you can do this to make people sign up with their email. That way, you know that it's not spam. So you can say contestants must sign in with their email and it'll simply sign them in real quick before they can enter into the contest. And then you're asking them to confirm. And then once they confirm, then they'll be signed in under success tracking. If you're doing any 
kind of advanced tracking like a Facebook pixel or even Google Analytics, but you should have Google Analytics already set up. And then you can also do a success redirect. So basically once they successfully sign up, you can redirect them to a thank you page. And maybe this thank you page has more information about what you're doing, what your podcast is about or whatever it is that you're trying to promote. Once you're done with all that, we can click save. And now we simply want to publish this so it can go live and we can put it on our site. So let's go ahead and click publish. And you see that there are some information that you can use to add this to your site. Let's go ahead and click save. And for us, we're doing the giveaway landing page. So it's basically live. This is what we will share with everybody. And we can even view the page to see it in action. So this is the page that we're sending everybody to. And you see here, they need to use their email before they can even access the information to do the giveaway. All right, now that we have it all set up, we can also add it to a page on our site. So I'm gonna show you how to do that if you don't want to run it as a landing page giveaway. So we can go into a post, add a new post or add it to an existing one and name it. And with Gutenberg, we can just click on the plus sign. And if you don't see it under the area, just start typing in raffle press and you'll see it come up. And now you want to select a giveaway. So we'll do the contest. And then what's kind of cool about this is then you can add whatever else you want. You can really grow the page more than just the contest itself. So we are done with that. We can publish this. And now you have two different ways that you can show it. You either show people on the photo contest page or also on this landing page giveaway. It's really up to you on which way you want to do it. Great. Now that you've run your contest, it's time to pick a winner. So I'll show you how you can do that from your dashboard. You'll just want to head down to the raffle press area and go to giveaways. And you see that this is still running. If it is still running, you can click end now and that will end it. And now that we see some images have been submitted, it's time to pick a winner over under status it, where it was showing running and we clicked end now, we now have a hyperlink here where it says need winners, needs winners. So we can click on that. And what it will do is pick a winner. You let them, you let raffle press automatically pick however many winners you're going to pick. And you can choose to only pick the verified emails, or you can do all of them, including the ones who didn't verify their email, but submitted something that's up to you. So once you click choose winner, raffle press will randomly select the winner for you. And once raffle press picks the winner, you can now contact that person and let them know how to, how they can claim their prize. So real easy way to set up a photo contest in WordPress. Let us know in the comments below, are you planning on setting up a photo contest for your users? And if so, what are you going to give away? And thanks for watching.